your host tonight is Lieutenant Governor Brian Krohlicki. Brian has been Lieutenant Governor since January of 07 and has uh, two major responsibilities in the state, economic development and economic development. So he <laughs> has an economic development. <laughs> and then sometimes he works on economic development. But he's an investment banker, so he understands what we're trying to do. And he's just been a great steward of the state's efforts in economic development. And in case you haven't met him, I want you to get acquainted with you tonight, because I think a lot of them have. Um, Sir? Thank you, Mike Skaggs. Mike, uh, I might have a fancy title, but he's the boss, and I know that. And we've got a great team here tonight. And you've had a chance to meet them. And partnering with people like Jeff, who's not paying attention to me. I right am. Now. I am. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. But again, I, I know we're a small group. We've had, most of us have had a chance to visit. But just thank you for being here. You know, Nevada, we think, and I believe many others think, that, that we're really at a forefront of, of an opportunity to really capture the solar energy realm really throughout the portfolio. We, we've had some of this conversation, but if, if you don't mind me being repetitive, certainly Mother Nature has given Nevada an unbelievable bounty of solar power and capability. Uh, you know, we always tease in, in trivial pursuit, the state with the least amount of rainfall per annum, it's Nevada. So you'll get that question right. But the, the potential harvest is, is profound. But uh, as much as we are excited about those opportunities and are pursuing them in a very vigorous, systematic way, we're also very excited about the potential for the manufacturing. That to us is really where the wealth is and, and can be sustained. Um, it pleases us greatly to help this country produce renewable energies on equipment that's manufactured in Nevada, whether it's mirrors or pumps or, or you know, wind turbines or, or whatever the source might be. But Nevada's been one of the fastest growing states for many years, and we were probably, until this past year, the only state in the country that was producing manufacturing jobs, growing these jobs. And the reasons for it were a great place to produce. Uh, we've also been uh, advantage being so close to California and the opportunities that our friends here uh, represent. You know, if people find California a challenge to deal with, we're here to help because uh, you know, we're hours away from anywhere you want to be in California, but in a, you know, a regulatory and a tax environment that is exceedingly attractive, if not you know, most attractive. But even on top of the manufacturing, we've been spending a lot of time talking with the federal government and, and the academic types to really develop the research and development. We want to be the hub for all things solar, uh, whether, again, it's production, whether it's manufacturing, or the research and development. Uh, we have, again, I know I've talked to some of you about the, the opportunities that we hope will be at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, to have essentially the, the solar hub, uh, one of the, the national think tanks that will be really on the cutting edge of, of solar technology and, and production. You know, I, I think we could spend all day, you know, our job in economic development is to bring in good jobs to Nevada, but I think we could spend all of our work days speaking just about renewable jobs in Nevada. We're happy to make the best decisions possible. We want to give you a compelling story, and we think we've got one, and then it's, it's your decision whether or not Nevada makes sense for you. But if there are ways for us to help you get started, help you do the due diligence, you know, we're all over it. That's our job. And uh, it's an exciting time in Nevada, and we have some economic <coughs> challenges that most of the country faces, but it's a heck of a time to uh, start things in Nevada.